Hello and welcome to Wanna Be a Chef. Today we are going to see how we can whip a non-dairy whipped cream to a stiff peaks. This is actually the cream which bakery people use to cream their cakes, to cream their cakes or to ice their cakes or to cover the cake with the icing. The cream which you get on the cakes outside or in the bakeries are out of this non-dairy whipped cream and not the dairy whipped cream in India. So let's see how we can whip this to stiff peaks. I have taken tropical light whipped cream here. You can take any whipped cream for that matter. It doesn't matter what brand you take. So every brand is same and will give you the same result. So tropical light, I'm using it because I have it. I have other brands also like Fiona or something else. But I'm right now using tropical light. Before you actually use the whipped cream, you need to give a nice shake, cut the top, so that it can, it can open. So I'm just, because this is just a demonstration, I'm just taking half cup here. As you can see, there, this has been freezed and thawed. And you can see little little ice granules or ice in this. So I'm just taking half cup. One major mistake we all do or even I was doing is we start whipping the cream at a very high speed. That is totally wrong. You have to, you are supposed to whip a cream at low speed at one speed one later on at speed 2 or 3 but don't go 2 or 3 at first so and one more reason you need you are supposed to whip it at 1 is because we want to combine the ice granules or the little little ice particles which are there in the cream so I'll start whipping at 1 now you can see that it has reached to soft peaks now now I can increase the speed that is I can whip the cream at 2 or 3 so I'll be increasing the speed this is 1 this is 2 and I'm going to whip this for 2 to 3 minutes till I get the volume don't be in a hurry when you're whipping cream so you can see how nicely it has popped up I'm just going to take out the beaters. I'm going to show you how this is. You can see it's not falling off. Even if you're going to keep this outside, that's just the same what we get. It's not falling off. It's not falling off. This video was totally for the beginners who don't know how to whip cream. And this was requested by many of my viewers. So I have taken a star nozzle here, with the star nozzle I am going to pipe a rose on my hand. You can see the stiffness of the cream which we whipped just now. So you can see how nicely our cream has whipped. So I hope you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, you can also visit me on my Facebook page, you can also visit me on my Facebook page which is given in the description box below. Thank you and keep watching. Hello and welcome to Wanna Be A Chef. Today we are going to make homemade cream cheese whipped cream frosting. So I have homemade cream cheese which we have made it earlier. I have 3 to 4 tablespoons of powdered sugar, vanilla essence and some whipping cream. I am taking tropolite here. You can take any brand whipping cream. So I am just showing you the demonstration here. I will be taking very little. That is uh, the quantity actually uh, what we need for whipped cream, cream cheese frosting is. I am going that is 2 is to 1. That means we are going to take 2 cups of whipped cream and 1 cup of 
cream cheese but as this is demonstration I'm using very little so I'll be using 1 fourth cup of whipped cream and 3 tablespoons of cream cheese and 1 tablespoon of powdered sugar and a little bit of vanilla extract or vanilla essence to give the flavor I'm taking around 2 tablespoons of cream cheese here which we made earlier and to this I'm going to add a little bit of sugar I'm adding very less sugar and cream cheese because we already have sugar in our whipping cream and few drops of vanilla essence and we are going to mix this so I'm using a whisk here you can use hand mixer or anything we are just going to mix it until the cream cheese becomes soft our cream cheese is nice and smooth now you can see it's nice and smooth so we are going to keep this separate and now we are going to take the cream I have taken one fourth cup of whipping cream here so we are going to use a hand mixer to whip this cream to stiff peak. Our whipped cream is now ready. So to this we are going to add our cream cheese and we are going to gently fold them together. You can use a spoon or a spatula to fold in the whipped cream with the cream cheese. So whipped cream, cream cheese frosting is now ready. You can see the consistency. I'm going to use a spoon and fill a piping bag here which I, with which I have taken a jumbo open star nozzle here. So I'm going to pipe it on my hand. You can see I have just piped something like a dough modak. I hope you like this video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel for such interesting recipes. You can also visit me on my Facebook page which is given in the description box. Thank you and keep watching. Hello and welcome to Wanna Be A Chef. Today we are going to see how we can make eggless chocolate muffins that is without eggs. So let's get started and know the ingredients for our eggless chocolate muffins or cupcakes. So first in a large mixing bowl, this is a very easy and quick recipe. In a large mixing bowl, we are going to take all the dry ingredients first. That is the flour, sugar, cocoa powder, baking powder, salt, Coffee powder, we have taken 2 teaspoons of coffee, coffee powder. So we are going to mix all the dry ingredients before. Measurements of this cupcakes are given in the description box. You can always refer the description box for this measurements for this cupcake measurement. So to this we are going to add vanilla essence that is 1 teaspoon of vanilla essence. One fourth cup of vegetable oil. One cup of water, and one teaspoon of vinegar. This is white vinegar, so we are going to take one teaspoon of white vinegar here. Once again, the measurements are there in the description box. Please refer the description box for the measurements. So we are going to mix this well and that's it our batter for the cupcakes are ready and this makes 12 cupcakes so just give a nice mix if you want to make small cupcakes this will make around 18 I think 
I've never tried it, but big cupcakes this will make twelve. So nice chocolate and coffee combination. Just mix well. So our super simple chocolate cupcake batter is ready. So let's put this batter in the cupcakes mold. So let's put this batter in the cupcake molds now. So I have lined my cupcake tray here. So I will be pouring this cupcake batter. So I am taking the 1 4th cup bowl which we used to pour in the batter. And I will be baking this cupcakes at 180 degrees for 20 to 25 minutes. This is my oven temperature. Please refer your oven manual for your oven temperature and please bake it accordingly to get the best out of this recipe so you need to fill 3 4 of it don't over fill our super easy eggless chocolate cupcakes are now ready so we are going to decorate this with the chocolate whipped cream and for a chocolate whipped cream I am taking dark chocolate and the whipping cream I am not taking any heavy cream or anything here I am taking the whipping cream so a quantity of all these are in the description box below so first I am going to boil this uh, in a microwave or warm this in a microwave if you don't have a microwave you can still use a steel vessel or anything to boil the cream and we are going to pour it over the chocolate so we are putting the cream on the chocolate and we are going to let this sit for around 5 minutes we are just going to immerse this chocolates in the cream Give a nice mix and we are going to let this cool down completely. So just so we are going to let this cool. So after five minutes, just give a nice mix, and to this we are going to use a whisk and we are going to beat it until it's light and fluffy. So once you whip the cream using the whisk, it's going to be very light and it's going to be hard. So, so I'm going to put this in the piping bag now. Before I put the before I put the frosting in the piping bag, I want to show you. I'm using a sharp star tip here. That is a rose tip. So I'm just going to take a spoon and I'm going to put the frosting in this so we are going to pipe our chocolate frosting on the cupcakes <laughs> 